All right, good morning. And if you guys watched the last video, you know that I am um, just continuing from that video right into this video. It is currently about 5.30 in the morning. I'm waking up to get my first meal in, which includes one candy bar, three gas X, a bag of rice cakes, and um, a banana. So... We get to eat that. These rice cakes are going to be brutal. Like, my mouth is so freaking dry. And I can't drink anything till afterwards. I mean, I have the option of drinking a can of soda. But I don't want to put any more liquids into my body. Unless it's, like, directly before stage. I mean, directly before. Um, I'm still carrying too much body fat to be taking in too much water with all the carbs that I've had. So I'm cautious of that. The only way that I'll drink it is like if I start getting lightheaded or anything. That's the only way. So I'm going to go ahead and try the four seats down because in another hour, hour and a half, I got some more candy bars to eat. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything packed up from my friend's house. That way um, we can go ahead and start getting out of here. So. Um, I'll see you guys in the car. All right, guys, so I've made it back to the venue. It is um, currently 7.30, so we're two and a half hours from stepping, or bodybuilding will be stepping on stage first. Excuse me, I'm getting my meals out. So, so far this morning, I had about half that bag of rice cakes. I didn't want to, or I couldn't stomach the, um, the other half of the bag. Just mainly for the fact that my mouth is so dry right now. No, that's so good, it's just, I just couldn't take it anymore. So, I only have a bag of rice cakes. And then right now, I'm having a Kit Kat bar with a little bit of peanut butter. Peanut butter is going to slow the carbohydrates down. I don't eat it right before stage. I can eat like candy bars right before stage, but the peanut butter is going to take about anywhere from two to four hours to digest. So I want to be digesting by the time I'm on stage and allowing those carbs to go into my system. So um, I'm just gonna eat this while I'm waiting for my bronzer on a spray tan. Um, I should have weighed myself this morning, but I've definitely dropped some weight for sure. I'm looking a little bit thinner. My skin's not quite as thick, not holding near as much water. So that's a nice thing, especially since I'm not down to the body fat level that I wanted to be. I'm still, I think, looking pretty good. So, I guess we'll find out here.
have finished up the competition and I have made it about halfway home. We had a couple things we wanted to stop and do while we were out in Philadelphia. So I placed third in the novice class and then fourth in the open class. I mean, I didn't place where I was hoping to, but I didn't come in as lean as what I was planning on either. So I'm happy with the placements. I mean, I really enjoyed myself up on stage getting to, to compete. And um, I hit all my poses really well. Um, before this clip, I did upload some videos and I hope I'm able to get the photos uploaded as well. But um, yeah, it was honestly a blast. If anybody ever has a chance to do it, whether or not you can do like 100% peak, proper peak, or not, I mean, I would highly recommend it. Like I said, I didn't come in the most shredded, but it, it was still fun to go up there and be able to um, just show off what you've worked for over the years. Um, a lot of the guys there I was competing with, I mean, they were fun to be around. We were joking around backstage and carrying on. Um, but yeah, I had a, um, I've had two salads so far afterwards and a couple other cheats throughout the evening. I'm going right back onto the diet tomorrow. Um, I'm basically using today as a free-for-all. Um, trying to keep things within reason, but still enjoying some tasty food that I haven't had to, or I haven't been able to eat in the past four or five months. So, um, tomorrow's right back to the diet, and then I will be continue to diet down and actually get to the point where I compete properly for the Pittsburgh show. I have two shows, one coming up in five weeks and then the main one that, I'm, that I've been planning since last year will be the Pittsburgh Beat Jim Manion show. So that's the one that I'm actually going to 100% peak for. So I should be bringing my best package to that show. But I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for following along with um, with this contest prep. I will be continuing on with these as um, as I get closer to the next shows. So stay tuned for those. And until um, next time, I'll catch you guys later.